you've seen it obviously of the games that we played against each other. And I think we played an outstanding first half with and without the ball. Um, obviously, this, the second half they, they they scored quite early, helps them a little bit, you know, confidence-wise. So you have to be uh, patient, have to be calm, and uh, try to get through that storm. And I think we created a good chance to maybe finish the game off, um, finish the game off in, in a goal way, but because they will never give up, regardless, because they they keep running and they keep playing. And um, well, you know, going to the final was the main target, and we did that. The boss. Won't even listen to the Q word, quadruple. But in there, after a match like that, among the players, is there a feeling that you could create history, achieve a lot? We don't talk about anything that could happen. Um, so that's all for you guys. You can put even more pressure on us than you're already doing. Um, we just focus on the game out of it. And today was a, a tough game against City. Um, maybe it's the last time this season we play against each other. Maybe not. Um, but now we'll, we'll have to recover, we have to do everything to recover. It was an intense game and make sure you're ready for United. Just a word about the fans, there were difficulties getting down here with the travel, but what an amazing atmosphere your fans created today. It's not a surprise, is it? <laughs> we won't take it for granted. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we just enjoy it and, and they should enjoy it. It's only, uh, what is it, two months left, the rest of the season. So let's just go for it. Hopefully the sun keeps shining like it is and everyone turns up and uh, make it a big party and we'll see what it brings in. Did you know Villarreal in the Champions League? What do you think of them? Villarreal? Yeah. Very difficult. Very difficult. What can you expect there from that game? Who do you think is the best key player for them? Well, I think that midfield is key. Parejo is very good. Um, obviously, Capoe is doing a very good job, but if you look up front, Arnaud is doing well. Danjuma, I know him from the national team. They are a very good side with, with good players. Paul Torres, outstanding player. So we'll, uh, we'll have to be ready. But by then, you know, we'll focus on them when the time is right. For now, we can't focus on them and we won't. But it's going to be tough. They beat Juventus, they beat Bayern. And they, they, they have the belief they can try and do that to us and um, we'll give everything. Can Liverpool fans uh, dream for the quadruple this season? Anyone can dream. Uh, we won't talk about this because we focus on the game ahead of us. Today we beat, we beat them, we go to the final, we focus on the final when the time is right and same goes for Villarreal in the semi-final. Do you think Man City and Liverpool are the best teams in the world right now, the best football? That's for others to say. What do you think? I think they are. Oh, <laughs> Good. Just, just one, quick one quick question, please, brother. One quick question. Sorry. Well, you do it on the phone, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> a little less high quality than that one. Verge, obviously, it was well known you had a long term injury. You were out for ages. You'd, you'd won the league beforehand. To come back now and to be in the running for four trophies, is this the kind of stuff that you came to Liverpool for to be winning all and trying to get all the trophies? Yes, I think, obviously. Um, FA Cup is, I don't, I think the only trophy that we didn't want in my time here, and to be in the final is amazing, and we give it everything. Um, but yeah, what you said, coming back from the injury, had to look at last season from the sideline was tough. Um, so we'll, we'll see what it brings in the season. Does the, does the comeback give you an extra motivation to go for the clean sweep? I know we're trying to play down the talk of the quadruple. I think every uh, single person you speak to is going to mention that word. But I think if you've been out and been watching from the sidelines now when it's back, it's beast season. You're trying to take it all, aren't you? We'll try to win every game ahead of us, yes. And, and, and obviously, if you do that, you get rewards for it. But I think no one did the quadruple. So there's a reason for that, because it's almost impossible. Um, something that others can talk about, press can talk about, and we just... Um, focus on the game elements. And looking ahead, you've got a final coming up, you've got a crucial semi-final coming up. As a player or as a squad, do you guys prioritize which trophies you want to go all out for or, do you, or is it when it's game time, it's game time? It's game time, yeah. And um, what you said, we play almost every three games, uh, three days and um, it's nothing else until the end of the season. And, and to be fit is not something um, you should take for granted. So you have to recover, you have to do the right stuff to make sure you're ready for the next game. That's nothing different today. Um, so we travel back. We have to make sure you eat the right things, sleep well, and uh, be ready for Tuesday. Well, you said eat the right things. What's for dinner? I don't know. No, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah.